Good evening, this is Carolyn, and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. This is, I believe, day 14 of our 20 base pages in 20 days. All about that base. So if you watched my base page videos, you saw me make this one. And there is a, I, this is a two page. I did two pages because I had two of these big yellow scraps. And, um... So I did a what could be a two-page layout, and I did find pictures to do two pages. So um, I got something on this one. So we're going to do the first one of those two today, and we'll do the other one tomorrow. But um, I I was kind of excited about the pictures I found. I had to rework the one for this a little bit. This is when my um, son and daughter-in-law and their two boys went on their first uh, camping trip with their new camping trailer. They got a camping trailer that is like unbelievable nice, big, huge. Oh, it's just awesome. And uh, it was their first outing with it, and this other family went with them. So um, I had to kind of rework this photo because I made my base page and put that on there because I had these scraps that were that size and so I used them and um, so I had to have a picture that would fit there and so I had to play with it a little but I got it I got it done so we're gonna just go ahead and put this main picture on there and then um, then we'll do some more and then do our embellishing I've got I didn't try this before I started so may have to unclog this is my glue i took on my crop last weekend and i think it got a little stopped up looks like i did something with that pen before i put it back in there but it will be fine all right so let's get our main picture up here i do not know what these goofy boys were doing, but they have got some goofy looks on their face. The youngest one of theirs and the youngest one of my son's, I don't know what they're doing, but they're being goofy, goofy, goofy. So I wanted to put a couple more, I don't ever, I rarely ever do just one picture. So I did a couple more pictures that I wanna put on here. And then um, I've got quite a bit of embellishing to do to this one. So I think I'm going to put our pictures like this. And um, this is a campground that's actually not too far from us. has a really neat little swimming, like, splash pad thing. And then a swimming pool. And I don't know what all it has. But it's, it's really, uh, I haven't been there, but they really do like it. And then I have this little camping trailer that I'd been dying to use. So I'm gonna use it on this one. And it's it can be a journaling block, so I will probably journal on it. And then I didn't want it quite so plain, so I cut, this is an arrow that I just freehand cut, and it matches one of those layers. These were a bunch of those four by sixes that I had put in with my scraps and was using. And then I fussy cut all of these smiley faces that, um, if you remember a few days ago, I did a, I did a layout that had Tinker Toys on it, and I said I was trying to use up some of those kind of juvenile pages in a six by six that I had. Well, this is another one, and it had all these smiley faces that was in that, um, in that six by six pad. And so I wanted to, I just, I just fussy cut it so that it, I would use that and finished off the smiley faces of that batch. I think I'm going to, I'm going to do a, I've got Water Babies and H2O Fun, H2O Fun. So I thought I'd kind of build a little, um, some kind of a little, cluster down there, and then I'll use some of these smiley faces in with it. Not exactly 
sure, but something to that effect. And then in a swap, I got this little floaty toy that I want to put down here. And then some more smiley faces. So let's get these pictures down before we get too much further because I, I'm pretty sure that's where, I know, that's where they're going to go. Not just pretty sure, I know it's where they're going to go. So just get them down. I don't know what I got that pen in that looks like glitter of some kind. No telling. I really like this base page. I'm going to cover up quite a bit of it, but I always do. Okay, get that somewhat straight. And then get this one down. But they have been to this um, this campground two or three times. Like I said, it's great for just a little getaway because it's not far from where we live. And but the amenities are just really nice. So if they have, like they can go on Friday and come back, you know, Saturday or. Thursday night if they're having Friday off of school and come back Saturday and still be home for church and all that kind of stuff. I mean, they've even gone and come back on Sunday morning. It's that close. So, so I think I'm going to do something like that. But I definitely want, there's kind of some open space here. I definitely want this little floaty toy, I think, down there in the corner. So let's, um, I may stick him on a little piece of foam tape just to get him up to the level of that picture. Let's see if we can maneuver this foam tape a little. I wasn't gonna do any foam tape on this because I've just been trying to keep my layouts a little flatter lately, but that's coming up over the edge of that picture and it it was kind of thick. So I think we're gonna put a little foam tape right there to bring it up good. I hope we're still in frame. And then while I'm kind of trying to figure out where these other things are gonna go, I'll do the the twist real quick. This twist tonight was one that was kind of special to me. I'll, uh, I hope it's kind of special to you too because it it's a comforting one. Sometimes I do things that are more convicting, but this is more comforting. So the twist tonight comes from Psalm 147.3, and it says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. This whole psalm, if you go through Psalm 147, a lot of it is talking about just how mighty and great that our God is. But verse 3 to me just is so personal because not only does it say that he knows that he heals, but he knows what's going on with us and he heals. He heals our wounds. I just, that, I love that. And so I... I, I sometimes I feel like life just beats us up. You know, we get broken and, and beat up and hurt. And it seems like things just pile on us all the time. It doesn't seem like things happen one at a time. It's like life just decides to pile up on us sometimes. <clears throat> and I mean, you know, it seems like, okay, you lose your job. That's bad enough. But then the car breaks down or you got to have emergency dental work or something. It, it can't just, I mean, it's bad enough that you lost your job. Or maybe you lose someone and, and you're grieving and, and hurting and or, you know, divorce. Or your kids are going through something and you're hurting. And then the next thing you know, there are a dozen other problems that seem to just be caving in on you. But that's just life. I mean, that's the way life is. And... So this scripture to me just says, 
God knows. God knows what's going on with us. He knows our problems. He knows our hurts. And yet, he's, he's ready to take care of us. And like I said, he not only knows our hurts, but he heals our hurts. He binds our wounds. I love that. Okay, I guess since I put that on some foam, I can go ahead and put this little tray. And I think I may just do the top of it and leave the bottom um, not on foam. Because I've got a little embellishment to put down there that I found that I have had in my stash forever. And I decided this was going to be the opportunity to use it. So let's get our little camping trailer on there. That camping trailer they got, they actually bought it from my cousin, but it is so nice. It has a, what they call a bunkhouse, a bunk room. So it has a, like a three-quarter size bed on the bottom that, may, well, it's a couch that makes into like a three-quarter size bed, which is where if I go with them, I sleep there. And then it has a bunk above that. And then there's, on the other side, there's a bunk. And then under that bunk is where the TV and a little closet and all kind of, it's just amazing. And then it has a big, nice kitchen, a really nice bathroom. And then their bedroom is up front and it's got a um, queen size bed and a bunch of shelves and nice closet. It's just, uh, it's just an oh wow to me. Okay, so I've got that on there. I want my little cloud. I don't know if I want it over or under that. It's got to, the summer has to be up there because it won't show on that. And then I had these cute little sunglasses that, um, these were from a swap. I need to write these things down so I know. Um, Judy Dykes. I don't know why I can't remember to do this before I start, but Judy Dykes made these cute little sunglasses. I got them in a swap, and I love them, so I'm going to use them up there, and I think I want to tuck one of my smiley faces kind of in, almost like it's peeking out from under the sunglasses. So we'll put those sunglasses up there, and then... Um, I wanted a smiley face over here, like the sunshine, right with that cloud. I know I want to do that. And I had a couple of little ones that I thought I'd kind of do a little group of smiley faces over here. So I'm going to do that. So let's get that top part down. I like it, okay. And so let's get it down. We could do foam on these sunglasses. Since I went ahead and did foam, I may as well just go all the way with it. I enjoy using my swap items. If you're if you're just tuning in and you don't know what I'm talking about, over on Ginger's Corner, we have um, weekly swaps called mini swaps. And then once a month, we have the main swap. And then sometimes there are other swaps too. And you can participate if you want to, but you don't have to. And you can do it as often as you want to, like just once in a while, or you can do it all the time. And there are several of us that do it all the time, and we video our uh, the things we make for the swaps but it's just so nice to be able to go through your things and find this one didn't have a name on it so I don't know who did it uh, find things to go on your layouts that you don't have to make or buy 
So let's put our cloud down. And I usually put a dot of glue on things if I'm taping them. Let's put our cloud right here. And then our smiley face or our sunshine, whatever we want to call it, right in there. And then a couple of these others that we can put. But those six by six sheets, one of them had these smiley faces all over it. And I thought, well, I'll just cut them out and use them for embellishments. And I believe this summer was also in an embellishment swap. It's so little, of course. And if it, if it was with something that had someone's name on it, it got separated. So if it was yours, just let me know and I'll give you credit for it. The same with this little floaty. I love to give people credit when I use their embellishments. There is kind of my title. And then I think this, this down here is just kind of subtitle. Okay, so we've got that done. And I found this. It's just a little plastic piece that's been in my drawer forever. And I think I'm going to put it right there on like it's some little flowers with that trailer. I started to make some. I actually die cut a little thing that I thought I would use. And I thought, you know, I think I'm going to put that there. All right, now let's see if we can figure out. That does not look straight, does it? And I think I've already glued that. Yep, I think I did that really good. Yep, I did. So it's just going to be crooked. It, it looked pretty straight there, but but is not. So let's get, let's start with one of these. And just start gluing them down. Okay, these, this is a, I don't know if it's meant to be a splatter. I use it in behind a flower sometimes. I've, I've used it several times. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be, but I really do like it. Okay, so there's that, and I want to use this Water Babies down here somewhere. Maybe something like that. Okay, we better put a dot of glue on the, it's sticky, but I don't think it's sticky enough. All right, there's water babies. And then we've got H2O Fun. doesn't have to be on that. It could be just there. It's sticky, but not sticky enough to stay forever. And they put it, I don't know. I could punch some more of these and kind of overlap them. That's all I have for now. I don't think I have any that go with the other page because it's not about water. I don't know. I think I may do it not on the splatter itself, 
and let the splatter kind of cover it. Just stick it in under there and then let the splatter kind of cover it a little bit. Let's try that. And then I'm gonna stick some of those smiley faces in under there. And um, see what we can come up with. I was kind of thinking I would just um, do a sort of a cascade of things. That one seems kind of big for up there. Let's see what happens if we put him down here. I just want them tucked everywhere. And that just kind of makes one big, um, I don't know if I have, oh, I do have one more little one. It's a partial one. So I could tuck it like, like that. Sure, let's use him there. Because he's got that, he was on the edge evidently, and so he's got that little flat part, but we're just going to tuck him right there like he's coming out from under that. We're going to tuck this one right in there. And we're going to let these, let's see if I like Maybe you like that one instead of the round one. Maybe I can put that round one off over here somewhere. All right, let's use these right here. even add him in under there. Let's do it. Don't want him to look like they're just two in a row. All right, and then let's see what else we've got. I don't have really much else to do. Um, I've got this one other smiley face and that's it. See how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to use this one, nine. But that one's almost like it doesn't. I think I'm just gonna put him right there or right there. I think I'm gonna put him down here. Kind of, that kind of brings you all the way across. He's the only thing over there, but there's kind of that thing that needs to be covered up anyway. So I think I'm just gonna bring him all the way across. And then I do have some enamel dots that are um, the right color for this. And I was thinking I'd put one in there for sure. That just kind of, and not in the center. I want it kind of offset. So let's put um, let's see, do we need a lighter or a darker? And I think the darker. I don't want it in the center because I want it like part of the, and then we could put one on this one. Again, not, you know, like it's, more of a dot than of the water or something, not a not a center of the thing.
Oh, maybe something right up here around the are kind of big but let's just use them anyway okay these I don't think I'm gonna use any more of those lighter ones I think I'm gonna just leave it like that I think I'm done so we have day 14 done so thanks for dropping by I will do what um, the companion page to this tomorrow and it has the similar colors and and um, the base pages are very similar the papers are a little different and so that will be um i guess day 15. so thanks for dropping by i hope you enjoyed it have a blessed day and be a blessing to someone else